everyone, this is Shauna. I'm an adult doll collector and I enjoy making videos for other adults. Today I'm going to be um, taking my Covey out of the box. She is the girl of the year for 2023 that I picked up uh, over the weekend at the San Francisco store. And I do have a haul video. Um, probably the video before this will be the haul. I'm going to be putting her in her performance outfit, um, which is that one over there. And this one I'm going to put on another doll. And it is Fun on the Slopes from uh, called Fun on the Slopes Travel Outfit. So I started taking Covey out of the box and realized my camera was not recorded. Re using the rec ah, I'm all tongue tied. I started taking her out, realized I, my camera wasn't going. So she does come with this um, journal, and I've heard a little bit of disappointment that it's just a journal and not quite the meat book that everybody is used to getting. I believe I think I read. That book will be out later this year, and it will be $13.99 in hardbound. I would have preferred it coming with her, but uh, there's nothing I can do. American Girl didn't ask me. I'm hoping I'll be interested in the journal, um, but sometimes, sometimes I'm not interested in the reading, even though I try. I prefer, I usually like the historical books more, but I'm going to really try to look at this Girl of the Year's book. So... Here she is. I believe I picked a pretty one. I went through a few of them. Not not everyone on the floor, but as soon as I found one that had what I think is good eyes that are even, the eyebrows are lined up over her eyes evenly. Um, I had that problem one time where my first Sonali came with the eyebrows were totally off over the eyes. Her lip paint looks good. Her teeth looks good. And I believe she has the fuller lips which means there's more paint on the top lip, which I prefer. And I did like the little touch test. She didn't seem to have any problems with a bubble in the wig. I've also had that issue. So I am going to take this hairnet off. I'm praying I don't find any flaws in her. Um, I'm very picky and I think if I look hard enough, I can almost find some kind of flaw in every doll which is kind of sad. I don't want to see that. Um, what do you think? I think she's beautiful. Let me know if you're planning on getting her. She does have like a center part, but it is covered up a little bit with this little hair up. The hair looks to be a very, very deep brown, not quite black. She's really pretty. I do like the skin tone. It's a very, very pretty. I just, I love her coloring. I knew this would happen. I like her even more out of the box. I was holding her, looking at her hair. It's so silky smooth, and I love how that it's straight, really, um, without waves and stuff. It's so pretty. And the outfit, I heard some negative stuff, but it really isn't. You know, it, the meat outfits, my dolls rarely stay in, stay in their meat outfits, so it's fine with me. I do like it. It's growing on me. I think I mentioned things grow on me and she is just beautiful her face is so pretty so I opened up the box and I'm starting to take out her performance outfit this coat or little jacket is the softest softest little fur I love it and it's lined in pink my favorite color I'm so glad that I brought it home I did think of waiting for a sale but I'm gonna enjoy it more than any sale I would enjoy. Um, I did wait on other stuff, but this outfit and these shoes are so cute. I don't know how they're gonna do in time. I'm starting to have some damage with some of my American Girl things as they age and the plastic does kind of scare me, but for the time being, for 2023, they are beautiful. And there is also, I guess a little barrette you can see with stars. I'll have to take that out when I have two hands available. Oh my goodness, a glitter top with, or sequin top. And look at all the different colors. It's so pretty. I know like if I was wearing something like this or my daughter, it would tickle or irritate around the armpits. But for the doll, she never complains, which is really nice. And these pants are kind of like a polished cotton. They're but the little, they're so cute and they flare at the bottom they do have velcro at the uh, where you would have like maybe a zipper and the American Girl tag so here is the fun on the slopes travel outfit and this one is my favorite 
it is just so beautiful. I love fur and I love fur trim on stuff and I love pink. What's not to love in this one? Oh my goodness, look how pretty. And they even um, flare at the bottom. Ooh. Zipper, the cute little belt. And there are boots. Oh my goodness. Again, I'm so sad that things in time, these boots are probably not gonna age well if you take them on and off your doll. I've had some of my dolls, boots start cracking now, and some of the soles coming off with the glue. They have Velcro in the back. But right now, they're gonna be amazing. These little snow goggles, the little mittens that are so, doll mittens are just adorable. And here's a little brochure little thing on the outfits. I do hope to get the hot pink one during a sale. I'm not sure about the swimsuit though, but maybe if the price is right, or maybe if I have rewards. <sighs> so cute. And I did open up more and there's little travel tips on how to pack. How adorable is this? So I had a chance to dress my dolls in the new outfits this morning, and it's now afternoon. I'm gonna finish up this video if you might have seen the tale of Littlefoot, my cat, she doesn't want to be in the video. I tried to get her to join us. But both of these outfits are gorgeous. Like if I could dress the way I feel like dressing and really want to dress, I'd be wearing outfits like this. But I know it's just not practical and they would not look as good on me as they do on the dolls. These are gorgeous outfits. I think the one on Whitney, which is my 122, that's a, this one was, I think, $45. Oh my goodness. Everything about it, I love. I love the shade of pink. I love the fur trim. I even love the belt. And the belt is nice because it has a Velcro right here. And you don't have to, like, weave the uh, white belt through anything. The little soft pink knit gloves. Look at how beautiful this is. And even these fur boots, they kind of get hidden in the outfit of the pants. And here is Covey. Again, a gorgeous outfit, and it just, I, oh my gosh, it just screams like, let's go out and have fun and go to a disco. I put the brett in her hair there because I'm not ready to take that little ponytail out on the top of her hair. I love this jacket. I have had jackets similar to this, and I have had, you know, sequin tops like this. This outfit is just gorgeous. And the shoes um, close with the little Velcro straps. I was wondering what they were like, their little Velcro behind the buckle. So you don't have to buckle them. It's just kind of a fake buckle. I hope you're enjoying all the releases from American Girl. Please be sure to check out my Instagram, Sofa Dolls. Give this uh, video a like. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, please uh, subscribe. Leave me a comment if you're planning to get Covey or not. And uh, come back soon for more videos. Bye-bye.